What's going on everybody? Matt from Anchor Down Gaming coming at you with a little quick video today. Uh, so yesterday we got a interesting leak uh, from a Reddit user. Um, a recent Marvel Spider-Man 2 leak has surfaced that claims the sequel to Marvel Spider-Man is in the works and should release in 2021. The leak was posted by Reddit user v17447377 claiming that the leak comes from a source that is close to insomniac games uh i don't know if anyone else knows this well probably not because my channel just started but i am a huge 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 fan of marvel spider-man i think it's one of the greatest games ever made um being a huge spider-man fan it's probably in my top five games ever made if i'm really you know getting down to the nitty and gritty that game just surpassed all my expectations graphically gameplay wise and especially story wise it rocked my world when it came out i didn't even have a life for two days straight uh i platinumed it in like three days i beat it twice in three days and I'm currently about halfway through it on New Game Plus. It was just phenomenal. And I'm super excited for the sequel. Hands out to Insomniac Games for delivering such an amazing product with Marvel Spider-Man. So, I did read this leak. Uh, I won't post it on here, but I know that they did show... Uh, you know, it said in the leak that there was going to be, you know, new areas to explore. That they're going to return to Manhattan. And they're going to also open up uh, Brooklyn and Queens. So that is super exciting in itself because I, I used to love playing uh, Ultimate Spider-Man back in the day. I had it for the GameCube and then I got it for the Xbox later on. And that game was just, again, it was another great Spider-Man game. I love the art style it had, but you could go to Queens in that game. And it was nice being able to go across the bridge and leave Manhattan. So opening that whole sense of Spider-Man's world up in this new game, you know, maybe Peter, you know, moves out of Manhattan and then he gets a new apartment. Well, I guess he has to anyway, because in the other game he got kicked out of his, but, you know, there's, there's so much potential for story now that they're going into new areas like Brooklyn and Manhattan. So that's exciting news uh, for the world building. And it said that we're going to get some new villains. So Venom, of course, is supposed to be in it. Uh, Carnage, which is interesting. Uh, maybe Carnage will come like at the very end of the game and then he'll be like a big baddie in the third uh, Green Goblin is coming expected that with Norman Osborn um, Cardiac a villain that I've never heard of so I got to do some research on him it seems like a lot of people never heard of Cardiac before though so um, the lizard it said that the lizards coming and I think that was it. Uh, if I'm wrong, then correct me. Of course, you know, we might see the return of any of the other villains because I don't think any of them died. I think they all just went to jail in true Spider-Man fashion. So that's exciting news. Um, and yeah, you know, a 2021 release window, that's only like a year away. Um, if they have it in the summer, you know, like a, a little like year and a half. Um, it's saying that... It's probably going to be in the holiday season, though. But holiday season could be any time from October to December. So maybe like an October release window. I personally, I'd be happy if it was September. Then it would be three years after the uh, first game came out. But anywho, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just want to uh, touch base on it and kind of give my thoughts a little bit in my opinion. Of course, this is amazing news once again uh, i can't wait for it to come out anyone watching the videos uh, subscribing to my channel thank you very very much everyone please hit that subscribe button i really really appreciate uh anyone who does that for me and uh, also be sure to check me out on twitter at anchordown 902 and uh on instagram at anchordown gaming uh, aside from that, look forward to more content. I'll have new videos up uh, tomorrow and on Saturday and Sunday as well. Until then, everybody, have a great day.